All right, to the tail of the tapes. And I think one thing you saw as we show the age differential, Jose Ochoa at 18, two wins, both by KO. It is a one-inch height advantage for Torres. Reach is all square, again, at 125 pounds in the flyweight division. And in moments, Combate Peru is underway. It is Ochoa in the white shorts, the colors of Peru, red, white, and a black used in the attire of these fighters. Ochoa pressing the pace, coming forward, and Torres is circling out of there in the southpaw stance. Gets clip with that right hook, or straight right, excuse me, right on the chin. And Julian, I'd love to get your, just your early impression, just to see how a fighter looks on the, on, from the naked eyeball when we see them. And as you see Ochoa, he takes the center of the haula in this opening minute. Yeah, Ochoa's got definitely a stalking, more aggressive type of uh, entry right from the get-go. Yeah, he, you can see a lot of spring in his feet, too. And I wonder if that plays a part in uh, the way that he weight cuts. I know he this fight's at 125 pounds, but he came in at 123.6. But he looks to be, um, as we see right now, the stronger fighter. As we uh, Pinning, excuse me, Torres up against La Jaula and not being able to get off. And it bears repeating when we show this division, the flyweight division, it, for all intents and purposes, UFC is getting out of 125 pound fighters. And Combate Americas is looking to position themselves as the best flyweight company in the world. Whether, the, whether these two reach that level remains to be seen, but they know they're in the right place for this weight class. Yeah, we're definitely um, more than happy to pick up all those guys from the UFC that are um, being dissolved in the 125 division, flyweight division, um, and, and just know they, they got a home here. If they can fight like a Mexican, they, they got a home here. Yeah, they're good flyweights in Mexico. We'll, we'll take them. Soon determine that in South America. And they break. It's all stand up here, early days. A little faint there on Joa. Lead leg kick connects. Little short left by Torres responds. Yep, Torres' body kick was great because after he threw it straight to the body, he hit him with a left hook right after. So Big he let the, let the kick set up the strike, so it was great. Interesting. It is Ochoa, the southpaw, but Torres is fighting southpaw in this opening couple minutes as well. And there he switches for a moment. Yeah. Back to southpaw. Yep. Now both of them are in southpaw position. Straight forward as the crow fly kicks here from Ochoa. Another big kick, active with his strikes. Again, we are unearthing we're pulling back the layers of Peru, Peru and their fight game. And you might just see the next big thing because Peru is serious about MMA. I, Chile as well, right. surrounding countries. Absolutely. I see Torres, um, he's kind of waiting. He's waiting to uh, to counter the strikes of Ochoa. Ochoa's been walking him down this entire fight. And uh, I, I would like to see Torres get on his own um, beat there, because I think that's when he finds the most success. When he gets off the timing of Ochoa's, when he's finding the most success, his strikes are landing, and they look uh, very powerful. So I would definitely quit letting this guy pin your back up against the Haula and, and get your own timing off. Ooh. Oh, Ochoa's been great. Big Superman left-handed punch there. Um, in the mix of so many lefts and rights, big roundhouse reverse kick coming in, rapid fire, still going strong, but he has got to make these strikes count. And Torres just slipped there. I mean, he it looked kind of like he got grazed with that kick, but he just slipped uh, right out of the way and kind of tripped over uh, up against the fence, but he's good. He just needs to get um, some better head position. See the head position of Ochoa, yep. or was the head position. It up. They separate and big sweeping left crosses there from Ochoa. Torres trying to get the knees involved. Torres doesn't want to separate. He wants to be in that plum tie clinch. Um, he started his base as a Muay Thai fighter, which he believes um, is the best base to start before you start transitioning into MMA. So that's where he got his start. And uh, you can see that he's real comfortable in that plum tie position where both of his hands are locked around the back of Ochoa's head and he's trying oh. to throw those knees. But you got to be careful. Like I said, he's on the timing of Ochoa and he's waiting and he needs to start implementing his own game plan and start firing off as fast as possible because he's it's just a matter of time Ochoa's super accurate Ochoa really pretty with his punches getting the knees involved if that left hand gets loose it generally will catch Torres who's uh, weathered a lot of strikes he tried to go with the flying knee he got caught left and right both being used whether it's fists whether it's kicks 
and uh, Ochoa, I see he has a real good fight IQ. You know, um, Torres tried to throw up a, a big, huge flying knee, and, and Ochoa just ate it with a straight right hand, and uh, he's he's quick. Hey, and re it bears repeating. He's 18. <laughs> yeah, the he's knees. just a baby. If he can win this, I mean, this has been one of the better opening bout starts we have seen from anywhere. Very late knee from Torres, who had to be frustrated as Ochoa separates. He looks fresh. Impressive first five minutes from the kid from Moyobamba. Definitely, that, that first round was full of exchanges and, and both of these fighters just continuing to pelt each other in the face. Uh, back and forth action the entire time. Uh, great opening first round and a great opening first fight. Um, Torres did try to get anything off. He was already met with aggression and, and with that um, fierce drive that you can see in Ochoa who is just not going to be denied continuing to come forward and hasn't taken a step back the entire time just walking him down and uh, you might see a little bit more of that here in round two. Ochoa a, a real athlete you can see with those feet and how the bounce he can have how he can go from a punch to a quick kick in a second takes the lead leg and he's just got this uh, air of confidence in him now as round two uh, is underway here he's just kind of holding his whole style a, a bit differently more cocky I would just say yeah now he's going to make precision punches gets in close quarters everything connecting Torres evacuates I mean literally you see those punches whizzing by your face and you know that you got to get out of the way because he is throwing with authority every punch bad intentions he's trying to knock out Torres and uh, Torres needs to oh. be very weary of that but he's been able to take uh, many hard shots and hasn't gone down yet and that's also very impressive Torres hasn't really been hurt by anything he's been annoyed it's flustered but hurt I don't think so another big Superman punch there that left hand is a real spark plug for Ochoa the underhooks from Torres, and I, to your point, I think Julian, he wants to keep it here. Yeah, I think Ochoa uh, is kind of feeling like he's, he can toy with Torres at any time and do whatever he wants to him, and um, kind of just feels like this could just be a, a highlight reel fight for him. But Torres is not going away. He's not being denied. He is holding the fence there, and that's illegal. But, um, you know, you don't blame the guy when you've been kind of getting the end of a, of a tail beating, basically. Our referee, the tail end of a, the tail of a end whooping, of the tail I guess. Whooping. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Raul Porata, our referee. He hasn't been able to uh, implement much of his own game plan. He's kind of just oh. been on the timing that of short uh, left Ochoa. Corner. Bad miss from Torres and Ochoa just clipped him short left. Those little left hands, if they could be early and often. Big oh, elbows ah. over the top. Those are gorgeous. And like I said, I, I, I feel like Ochoa is just kind of just dinking around, you know? He just feels like he could do whatever he wants at any time. You could tell he's not scared. He doesn't really respect the power of Torres at all. Torres has been able to unload nothing. Choa has emptied out the chamber in the first round and much of the same in round two. And he looks fresh. Remember, it is Torres from a high altitude, so I don't think fitness will be an issue for him, but clearly it's not for Ochoa to this point. Yeah, no, he's he could do this all day, all night. Ah, uh, to be young. Yeah. Now the right hand gets loose for Kalzifer Ochoa. And I, I love that. You know, sometimes your opponent wants to clinch up with you, and, and Ochoa saying, get off of me. And he's literally just chucking, throwing bombs, trying to get this guy to separate away from him so he can reel off his own punches. And he's got a real good gauge of his distance, too. It's a good punch by Torres, Ooh. and now he's put Ochoa down. The one and only we've seen so far. Almost for a guillotine. Ooh. Now Ochoa is a, a little a little different fighter now as he's felt the now, leather. He's been humbled. Uh, Torres. Oh, uh -oh that was a good one. It's changing here. That was great. Head like kick I catches. said, like you got to mix it up. You can't be doing the same things. If you don't know what you're going to do, they for sure don't know what you're going to do, you know? So get off of their timing. Implement your own game plan. Start being the aggressor. Strike first. Yeah, and that has changed the expression on the face of Ochoa. And he responds, big head kick. Oh, oh, combination. Looking to loosen up that left hand. Tight quarters. Ochoa needs to jack that underhook up to the sky. Can't or go the yet. other way, which is also definitely possible. Torres isn't cutting him off. Ochoa really good with his balance. I don't think if there is a takedown attempt, he's going to be ready for it. And he kind of just tripped on his own feet there. You know, he's back up. He's still in the game. Big, huge knee for Ochoa. Oh, oh. It's a great opportunity these two fighters to fight close hey. to home. Big 
Whitney. First one caught him, second one no, but now he's in a position to use that left hand. Under a minute to go here in round two. Superman punch, no dice. If uh, these two find success in Combate Americas, they'll be hitting the road because the, the next run of cards, by and large, will be in the United States, will be in Mexico. Yeah. They'll be back in Lima. We oh! Yeah! The referee stopped it! Look at how tough Torres is. A sweet left foot for Jose Alberto oh, Ochoa. Look at how uh, upset Tor Torres is like, what the heck? He was still good. Is that early? I think so. He was like right back on his feet and ready to go. He literally doesn't agree with the stoppage at all. He is a, uh, Torres is a tough guy. He took a uh, bruising and he just kept ticking. Yeah, no, the guy's got a granite chin. There's no denying that. Uh, he, he doesn't agree. I mean, I'm sure he might agree that he was losing the fight, but he wasn't, he wasn't done by any means. But he was improving as the fight went on and that kick changed everything. And whether so. Torres had more to give, that is water under the bridge at this point. Slap kick heard around the world. Right on the button. We'll take Albert, our Alberto Del Rio having, as he always does, speaks to the, the loser of the fight and certainly picks up his spirits as best as he can. But we'll get a look at the replay and see exactly how Torres looked after receiving what was a massive kick. For me, knockouts, that, like when I see a knockout, I like to see the guy like stiff-armed, like surfboard, you wow. know what I mean? Like, I don't like you don't to mess see, around. I don't, I don't like to see that, but that's how you know the fight's over. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. If you get kicked and you get dropped, people get dropped in fights. It happens all the time, but the guy got right back up. Let's see it again. Great Boom. kick. He was, he was back up. What the back. heck? That's probably an early stoppage. Oh, for sure. For whatever it's worth, Ochoa was winning this fight, but there was a third round for Torres to work oh, with. Oh, 100%. The third round we won't see. It was a beautiful kick. Beautiful Don't get me kick. wrong. It was gorgeous. Ooh, textbook. Perfect. But this guy's still in the game. He's already up on his feet, tripoded up and everything. In, and then look, he's like, what? In defense of our referee, Boom. while Torres is getting up, Ochoa could have unloaded here. Watch his, his hand well, get Well, he held tried, back. but he got... He got... So Raul Porada. <laughs> the, uh, all right. Impressive. Uh, 18 not years to take, old. Not to take. This guy was technically sound right. and threw a lot. As we go inside La Jaula for the official decision, La Voz. Lupe. Caballeros, este combate concluye con un tiempo oficial de 4 minutos 34 segundos del segundo capítulo. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout concludes with an official time of 4 minutes 34 seconds of round number 2. Your winner, by way of technical knockout, el vencedor por knockout técnico, Yaun Invicto, Calcifer.